back wheel Mesa light. This is a very budget friendly bike with a really nice paint job. They only have this color in stock right now, the blue color. And this is a 36 volt e-bike with a 14.7 amp hour battery. So you should get pretty good range with this. I would say anywhere between 25 and 30 miles uh, using pedal assist. Now throttle only, I don't know what you would get. Uh, I don't know if we'll have time to be able to do a full range test today. It's getting ready to rain. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's very cloudy today. Very windy too. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is test the pedal assist level to see what kind of speed we can get for each level. Now the max speed on this bike is 20 miles per hour. The current model that I have, you cannot unlock it, or at least I haven't found a way to unlock it. I tried everything. Uh, I read the manual. I did what it said to do in there. It didn't work. So I think this bike's pretty much locked down to 20 miles per hour. It is a true class two e-bike. So 36 volts, top speed, 20 miles an hour. And that's pedal assist and throttle only. So we're getting about 10 miles an hour in pedal assist one on flat ground here. Pedal assist two, Let's see what we can get to here. Pedal assist two, we're getting about 14 miles an hour. We go to pedal assist three, I'm getting 17 miles an hour. Pedal assist four, getting 20 miles an hour, 21. And I guess four and five are about the same in terms of top speed. Unless there's a way to unlock it. And like I said, I can't figure it out, so I don't know exactly why. But we'll stay in pedal assist five right now and just pedal a little bit here. Now we got a thumb throttle on the left hand side, your menu selector over here. You got your trigger shifter right here, uh, as well as your zoom mechanical disc brakes. Now, mechanical disc brakes are not exactly the best thing out there but for a 36 volt e-bike that only does 20 miles per hour i think it's more than sufficient they work pretty decent you don't need a whole lot of stopping power riding this bike it does have a really nice colored display you can go in the menu and actually see a little bit more settings by hitting the bottom two buttons it'll show you your average speed and your max speed as well as your trip and odometer reading. Now I do have it on its brightest setting. So it is overcast today, so it's not very bright. And the screen is still pretty dim from what I can tell. And I have it, I did adjust the brightness level to the highest available. These are the ideal conditions for you to be able to see the screen, but it's pretty dim. Now we are not ghost pedaling at all, but we are pedaling pretty quickly here. And this bike doesn't have a whole lot of power, so you you are going to have to downshift when you go up hills. You're going to have to give it a little bit more uh, oomph when you're, when you're riding this bike. Now the seven speed Shimano gear shifter over here, I really like. I like the trigger shifter a lot. Um, I actually prefer this over the SIS index. I just think it looks a little bit more sleek. The grips are faux leather grips that are locking so they stay in place. Uh, they're pretty decently comfortable with your bare hands. The one thing that I do not like about trigger shifters, and it just means that it needs to be slid over a little bit, and that's that this part right here rubs on your thumb. So when you're resting your finger here. So when you're resting your hand and just riding, uh, you definitely rub your thumb against this. That's not the most comfortable thing in the world, that's for sure. But uh, just slide your hand over a little bit more, I guess, until I get this adjusted. I just need to move it over a tiny bit. You're not gonna get anywhere very fast on this bike. It is just a commuter, very, very street legal bike. You won't have to worry about getting messed with. Uh, it actually looks like a real bike, uh, not an electric bike with the battery built into the frame. But we got a uh, max pedal assist here. We're pedaling up this little slight hill and there's not a whole lot of power here. So as you can see, 
This is maybe like a 3% grade and we're only getting 12 miles per hour. And that's uh, with me giving it quite a bit of power here with my legs. So if you live in the city where it's pretty flat and not a whole lot of hills, I think this would be a great bike for you. It does have a rear rack and we'll look at that now whenever we pull over here to do the full overview on this. All right, today we're looking at the mock wheel mess of light. I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly today. It does have mechanical disc brakes. Uh, they do actually have 180 millimeter rotors. That's nice to see on a budget e-bike. There's your calipers, the Zoom mechanical calipers. Uh, pretty budget, but not the cheapest made. I really like the paint scheme. I like that silver and black line that runs up. Then it comes down here on this side of the frame as well. That's pretty nice. And then it says Mesa Light down there at the bottom and Mach Wheel right there. The battery is integrated into the frame. Uh, here is your charging port. So you can charge the battery while it's on the bike. You'll see here it's got a Class 2 sticker. Uh, 350 watt, 20 miles an hour and just your standard pedals. Nice kickstand for as light as this bike is. This bike only weighs about 51 pounds, so pretty lightweight for an e-bike, and that's with the battery included. It does have tail lights right here, so those act as brake lights. The back reflector here is just a reflector. It is not a light. Same over here, it does have another brake light. And when you turn on the headlights, those also light up, so there you go. And then your single, chain ring it's not double guard it uh, will pop off sometimes and possibly you can get your pants caught in there I wish that every e-bike company would just put a double walled chain guard on there uh, that will make a world of difference over here is the lock for the battery you got your plastic fenders on the front and back as well as a rear rack uh, which is very nice to have uh, on a budget bike like this for $900 seats decently comfortable nothing to right home about but definitely uh, a lot better than some of the stock seats I've seen it's got a nice headlight here with dual beams on it so let's go ahead and turn that on it's gonna be kind of hard to see this in daylight but there you go decently bright at night uh, I did test this on my garage door and uh, it it actually looks pretty good it has Chow Yang street tires on here 27 and a half inches uh, really nice tires very smooth quiet uh, perfect for a city street all the cable is nice and managed very well looks really nice and they got the cabling all ran up through the frame makes it look really slick and nice now it does have an option here for a front basket and they do sell that on their website so you can add more cargo capacity on this bike so you do have your rear rack that's included, but you can also buy a front rack if you need that. The other cool thing is if you want an adjustable stem, it actually comes with one in the box. I didn't install mine yet, but uh, instead of having the static stem here, um, they have one that is adjustable. It's included in the box. All you got to do is pop your top cap off and these two bolts and it just pops off and you put your other one on. Pretty simple. Up here on the dashboard, you got your faux leather grips and they are locking. Now this is a non-suspension bike, so you are not gonna wanna take this off-road too much. If you hit a pothole, you're definitely gonna feel it. Uh, so keep that in mind. Here's your thumb throttle. You'll get a top speed of 20 miles an hour with your thumb throttle as well as your pedal assist like you saw. Here's your menu selector. This is how you turn the headlight on. This is how you go through the menu options. Uh, the only menu options I have for you are you push and hold the two middle buttons. So it just gives you the option to change the unit, brightness, reset the trip, and things like that. Over here is your trigger shifter, seven speed Shimano trigger shifter. Works really well. And then your zoom mechanical levers here for your zoom mechanical brakes. And I really like the color. They definitely picked this color for me because it literally matches my logo. I posted a short on this, uh, so if you want to go see it, you can kind of see uh, how it really matches the logo. Uh, but this is the Mach Wheel Mess of Light. Like I said, I got to hurry up. It's getting ready to rain. Got to head home. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Mm -hmm.